sort of, I'd, I'd like to finish by like escalating a little bit in, uh, in scale and maybe uh, impact. Um, one project that we've spent the last uh, year and a half on is for a new uh, baseball stadium for the Oakland A's. And Stadia, this is their current stadium, and this is typical for Stadia. It's like these kind of massive venues in a giant sea of parking that are only active a few days a year. Baseball, arguably, much more than uh, any, any other sport because there are so many games, uh, roughly 100 uh, in a year. Um, but we thought, what if, what if this new stadium could really be the, the, the kind of foundation for the cultural life of the city? What if we could bring the ballpark back into, into the park? And essentially, baseball started in parks, and then at some point, a guy got the idea to build a fence uh, around the park and, and, uh, and charge tickets. Uh, so we thought, what if we could somehow bring the park back? So instead of this kind of enclosed stadium, one of the main concourse was actually Main Street. Um, and because baseball is an asymmetrical sport with the outfield, what if the entire stadium could open up to the, to the city and the water and the views? Um, so we are located uh, in the port of Portland, uh, of Oakland. Um, the stadium somehow becomes this kind of extension uh, uh, of the city grid. The, the circular stadium kind of distorts the, the, the streets, creates a series of squares. The main concourse is actually this kind of main public promenade called Athletics Way. Um, and then basically imagine as the, as the roof dips down, it almost becomes um, the kind of Oakland equivalent of the, of the High Line, uh, a public park that is part of the, um, the experience uh, of the game. Uh, but 250 days a year, it's actually a park for the, the citizens of Oakland. Uh, we also, we can comfortably refer to the High Line because we're working with field ops on the, on the landscape. Um, but essentially, imagine that 365 days a year, this is part of the enjoyable space of, of this new neighborhood. Uh, also, the, normally, the, 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 the seats that are the furthest away from the game would be the lousiest. Here, they have this kind of amazing experience of actually being part of the, of the park experience. So that uh, basically, 100 days a year, they shut down uh, access to the park, like if you have a concert in Central Park. Um, and it becomes part of the, of the spectator experience. All the, the, the restaurants and cafes uh, open up to the park. But that also means that the other days, they open up to the park. So you can actually go there uh, and have a coffee, uh, even if you're just living or working in, uh, in the neighborhood. So you have this kind of connection from the, from the inside to the out. Um, above, of course, the running track on the game day is part of the, uh, of the circulation. Uh, and on a non-game day, it's part of the experience of living uh, in, in Oakland. Uh, the same for the picnic lawn, uh, both for game days and, and outside game days. So, so suddenly the, um, the stadium doesn't become this kind of massive, massive sort of empty uh, white elephant uh, in a kind of void in the city. It actually becomes a kind of bringer of life and energy into, uh, uh, into a, new, uh, a new neighborhood. And, and of course, also because of the, the kind of asymmetry uh, in the extreme, you have this kind of incredible view out over uh, the, the port uh, towards uh, uh, San Francisco that is part of the, of the experience. Uh, for the facade, we wanted to spend as little money on, on the enclosure as possible. So uh, we need to provide some shelter from the, from the wind. So we came up with this idea of, of this kind of uh, louvered uh, structure that is facing the predominant direction of the wind. Um, and then basically, where we have the concessions, where we have the circulation, we need to provide uh, wind protection. Uh, so it almost becomes like this kind of series of scarves wrapped around uh, the building, just providing only the necessary uh, protection. And, and, and even if we were trying to make this kind of almost skeletal non-building, it actually ends up having a, a, a rather sort of elegant uh, expression. And also means that when you arrive, you, you literally walk over the edge of the stadium and, and onto, the, onto the field. Um, to provide access and to minimize the, the parking, of course, because it's part of an urban neighborhood, we can share the parking. But also, we have the BART, uh, um, the Bay Area Rapid Transit, um, only like a mile away. But you have to cross a 12-lane highway 
and a freight train. Uh, so the simplest way of connecting uh, is by putting a single mast. We can actually put a gondola that takes you straight from the BART uh, across both uh, uh, highway and, uh, and train tracks, uh, lands you on um, Jack London Square, uh, and from here you just walk straight onto, uh, 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 across the perimeter park and into, uh, into the game. So, so I think like, um, in, in many ways, taking this kind of idea of social infrastructure and the utilitarian and the social uh, and bringing it together into uh, a, a kind of new, um, a new hybrid